Okay guys, video time again. Uh, we've got another product for the 4x4 turned up, so I'm going to show you that. But before I actually start to use it, I have to do some prep. Now what it is, it's one of these fellas. It's a water bladder. Now the water bladder will sit down behind the front seats and the footwell. I uh, had the opportunity to look at different products. They do make a solid one, which in some circumstances I guess would be really useful uh, but two negatives one is the bulky size of it when it's empty and the fact that it only holds uh, 40 litres this one holds 55 and uh, the solid ones are about 300 bucks whereas the flexible ones like this uh, they're about 100 just under 100 dollars of course this is, gonna, this is not going to last as long but if we're not using it too often, if we're only using it for bigger trips, and uh, we use jerry cans for an overnighter and things like that, if we use this for a bigger trip, the fact that it sits right down in the footwell uh, keeps your centre of gravity good. But as I say, there's some preparation to do before I start using this. And what I have to do initially is flush it out with some bleach, which I've got here. And uh, then I have to flush it out with bicarb to get rid of the taste of the bleach. So we'll just go ahead and do that and uh, show you what you need to do before you start using one of these. So the first step, you put about 100 mils of bleach into a bucket of water. And now we need to empty that into the bladder. Okay, now we just uh, give it a good slush around inside. and then tip it down the drain. <coughs> and now we repeat the process but we use some bicarb and what that does is remove the taste of the bleach from the bladder. And that's basically the job done. I've now got to empty out the water with the bicarb in it. Uh, we hang it up, let it dry, and then uh, can pack it away. And as soon as we're ready to go camping, pull it out, put it in the footwell, fill it up, and we're right to go. Now I do have one other thing to do with this. That's what I intend to do with it: is uh, get a water pump. And uh, I'll have the water pump probably fixed somewhere in the car, but then I'll have it so that it will connect up to. But then I'll set it up so it can connect up to one of these ends. I'm not really a great fan of these, having had a look at it. They don't swivel. Uh, they're very hard. Uh, I would like to see something that either swivels or is flexible. And when it comes to emptying the bag, uh, they're not the greatest. It would be great if they would point down. So you could just hang the thing upside down and it would drain properly. I can't see this being very easy to dry properly inside. But uh, it's a new toy for us, so uh, and we think it's the easiest way we can think of, of carrying water. We've got jerry cans. I did actually buy two 43-litre tanks, 
but uh, I really just couldn't work out what I was going to do with those so uh, they're sitting in the shed at the moment and gathering dust this looks like the simplest solution we'll see how it goes it's double covered uh, let's have a look other end you can actually see this is the outside cover here and inside is the actual water bladder fairly thick plastic but you certainly don't want to put these near anything sharp so you're going to have to make sure if you use them and put them in the footwell that there's no sharp objects around that are going to damage it the outside cover is fairly heavy duty PVC but you put enough pressure you put enough weight on something by having that full if you've got something underneath that's sharp it's going to go right through it I think but it's an experiment at this stage just to see if it'll do the job we want and uh, if it doesn't um, then I'm probably going to have to fork out the money and go to a solid plastic one but I'd rather not do that if I can get away with it now one thing you mustn't do with these things is pick them up and move them around by using the inlet tubes now but the easiest way I can see to dry this is to get it up on an angle have both the bungs out and have your bottom tube just right at the very corner there and uh, hopefully that will help it all drain out uh, how I really don't know that it's going to dry out completely inside which is a little bit of a worry I guess but uh, we'll see how it goes 